Love transcends all boundaries and ages, and Libraries of Love has demonstrated this fact, setting up libraries throughout Uganda to support education and develop the minds of the young and old generation in Uganda with good books and with the love of God. It all began in 2005 when five volunteers from Austin, Texas, USA traveled to Kampala, Uganda to create a library for 800 students at Namirembe Primary School. None of the Libraries of Love team had ever done any work like this, but they learned as they went along. And today, there are 34 libraries created serving thousands of students in primary and secondary schools in Uganda. This June 2014, Libraries of Love celebrated 10 great years of showing love through giving to those in greater need. She doesn't discriminate or which uh, denomination, but she gives these books to all people, all Ugandans. And it's uh, mostly to help the country to get these books and to read and to, to, for these students to get knowledge. Because the books are very expensive in this country, not only in this country, all over the world, wherever you go, the books are very expensive. But when you get these books uh, free of charge, we, 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 we thank God. Now what we need to do, we ask the students, people who are reading them, to keep them, to look after them well. With already a great accomplishment, lives have already been impacted. Through these books, like for example in Budo we have various sections of the books. She has given us fiction books, spiritual books, fun books, and um, the, most, the most read books are Guinness World Book of Records, the biographies by the different people. It's really amazing to wake up one morning and like in your free lesson and you just go and read that book. You just every single day you read a book, you just get empowered with knowledge. And that um, since we are an era of so much transformation, everyone has to be equipped with knowledge to, uh, to defy that human ignorance that is so rampant in Uganda. And this is what Trudy Marshall has enabled us to do. Without the significant role played by the Libraries of Love team, none of this would have happened. And the many Team USA who have visited Uganda to see the fruits of this great work have great stories to tell too. Well, it's impacted me in many different ways to be part of Libraries of Love. Um, one is that I have friends worldwide now, um, not only from the United States through teams that I've been able to go to Uganda with, um, um, from Libraries of Love, but also the friends that we've met, the headmasters, the teachers, the librarians, and the students that we've met at each of the schools. Playing with children, just um, having a passion for the Ugandan people and um, building libraries has been very special to me. If people love uh, children, if they love literature, uh, if they love meeting and sharing with other people, um, if they love learning about another culture, um, Libraries of Love has been a blessing to me in those areas. As an educationist, I know through reading and writing, those are the key challenges we have as a ministry, and that has been our biggest challenge. When you have an opportunity, to someone to offer you uh, books for, to enable children to read, to me that is excellent and wonderful. We support this project, program, and we shall always support, as I communicated, we we of the view that the 34 schools that we have given is just a drop in a notion. We have so many schools that need libraries, but the question is how and when do we do this? So I've invited uh, Madame Trude uh, and Marshall to come to the ministry so that we come up with a modality on how to do it. <laughs> And lots of words of wisdom and encouragement were expressed. So, Libraries of Love, you know what you have started 
it's only God who can stop. Nobody else will stop it. Because we have known it is a good thing and it has benefited our children. And I want you to know and be our ambassadors that they do not just pick books from there and bring. Our Archbishop Emeritus Livingstone Koyoyo has witnessed when they sort these books out. They take time to sort books that are relevant to what we need. And all the schools that have received these books have performed better than before they received the books. We have got blessings by having people want to bless us with the books for free. Now, who is our enemy? The ones who do not want us to grow in our brains. Do you know our brains are fed by the books, by the knowledge we get? Yes. So if they want to deny us that, they want us to remain backwards. And for that reason, all of you are going to be soldiers of Christ and the soldiers to fight illiteracy and fight whoever wants to stop libraries of love. I want to pledge, and I want you to join me in my pledge, that whoever would want to stop libraries of love for the good the work they are doing, we join the forces and fight with them. <laughs> libraries of love, viva! Viva! Viva, viva libraries of love! Viva!